Uncharted 4 is one of the most anticipating games on 2016. Naughty Dog has done it yet again. So what's new on this game? What's the difference in the previous releases? Well, now we'll take a look on what's this game's facts and trivia. Uncharted 4 Thief's End is of course developed by Naughty Dog and is exclusively for PlayStation 4. A Thief's End is the fourth and final installment of the Uncharted series. It is also a sequel to Drake's Deception. The game is scheduled to be released on May 10, 2016. There are a lot of changes during the development, not just normal changes, major changes. In March 2014, Amy Hennig and just both working on Uncharted 3 and 4 had left the studio. They joined a different gaming company which we also know, Visceral Games and Riot Games. That's not the only change that happened. On November 2013, Naughty Dog releases a trailer voiced by Todd who plays Sam. Nate's older brother. However, Todd also announced to no longer be involved in the game, making the role blank. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End has stunning graphics and the environment is really large. Naughty Dog did their best in order to have the game run in 60 frames per second. However, the campaign only got 30 frames per second but they were still able to make 60 frames but it was available in multiplayer mode only. The resolution of multiplayer is limited to 900p but the campaign remains in 1080p. Uncharted series is known to have a good dialogue but still lacks the option to control the responses of a character like that on the Mass Effect. The last Uncharted series has revealed that it will feature a player-controlled dialogue. Although this is the last game in the series, it was the first to feature the set option. Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay, he did. I found the coffin. Off the coast of Panama? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now get this. Okay, I open it up, right? right. And there's no body. On February 2016, Naughty Dog released a story trailer. This trailer included the photographic concept from Assassin's Creed for Black Flag. This was quickly noticed by Ubisoft employee. Naughty Dog, knowing the said issue, they've taken the trailer down within the same day and re-uploaded it, removing the frame that has the photo on it. Naughty Dog is man enough to admit their mistake and apologizes to Ubisoft and will take full responsibility. Lost of Us influenced Uncharted 4. Lost of Us offers stealth and survival. Uncharted 4 takes the stealth part and you can be stealthy in game, but once you're discovered, all hell breaks loose. It also gets the inspiration on Metal Gear. The team also take a look on Far Cry and got the game more wider places to explore. An open world, if you will. Sony is banking on Uncharted 4. They put billboards, adverts, and going so far as to run a brief trailer for the game before Star Wars A Force Awakens in theaters. You don't see many video game trailers in the theaters, so that's a pretty big deal. Uncharted 4 has also gone into complicated role casting. There was a new antagonist named Nadine. Laura Bailey is the one voicing the character. The only problem is Nadine is black and Bailey is not. The team discuss about the development whether to make Nadine white to avoid controversy or recast the character for Nadine. But according to Drakman, they have no time to recast, so he never told Bailey that she was casting for a black female character. The game was delayed a couple of times. It was set to release on April 26 but got delayed to May 10, 2016. On April 27, Shuhei Yoshida stated that copies of the game were stolen while in transit to retail in the UK. Yoshida warned the gamers about the potential spoilers to be posted by people with access to stolen copies of the game. On 2015, E3, Uncharted 4 A Thief's End has encountered several issues that people on the internet misinterpret as game freezes. According to Strolly, they couldn't find a working DualShock controller when he went on stage. 
When he found a lit up controller, he took it but nothing happened on the screen. A backup controller didn't work as well, so they had to restart the demo for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> then I hit the PS button on both of the machines and I get the OS over on the backup. So I'm like, okay, well there's something. Surprisingly, the primary did not respond yeah. at all. Nothing happened. So yeah. the controller somehow died. Just the controller died. Who knows? Magic. Like some wizardry. Somebody like put some interference on me, a zap on me, some voodoo. I pick up the other one. I'm like, please, God, please. And I start the, start the demo. I'm pointing at this one. Apparently, the guys in the booth are watching both the monitors. And they're like, Bruce, ha Bruce has the backup. He's getting feed off the backup. He's picking up the second controller. Second controller is a check. We're going to run with the second one. It's like, like NASA. <laughs> total NASA. Like, we got three drops of gas left. We got to get this moon shot perfect. It's like, we're down to one drop. One drop. Go. Yeah. One th <laughs> like, everything's calm and cool. I'm up there freaking out. Pick up the other one, and it's time to move. And I put the joystick forward, and the, the analog stick, and he moves. And I'm just like, everything from that point on is just cake. Yeah. It's it like there is no stress <laughs> at all. It's just like, yeah, we're going to run through a demo, guys. It's cool. It was awesome to hear the crowd's reaction when they just took a step forward.